of time because everybody's parents were there to help them. But a couple years later, I noticed uh, Mike Novak on his electronic scooter and having a difficult time reaching the top of the launch pad from the scooter. I have also noticed a couple of other people having a hard time reaching the top, like people that are shorter or um, have another disability. So I decided that it was time to do something about it. In this video, you see Scott, who was at Ekram this past year. Ekram was held by Narhams, and as you can see, he's kind of struggling with the launch pad. Although he didn't have a hard time putting it on the rod per se, he did have a hard time adjusting the launch pad in order to make himself more competitive. Here you can see him fiddling with the equipment, trying to adjust the pad to get a better flight. The overall improvement of the pad from last year took a while, but it started as soon as I got back from NARM 54. I knew the project wasn't done, and I knew the design was just a prototype, and I had to move it to the next stage. So I took away all the wooden pieces, you might remember those, um, it, was made of, it was made out of wood completely. It didn't look nice, it had tape all over it, it had wood screws, it just didn't look finished. So as you can see, I have plastic, HDPE plastic, I have some steel, I have um, no wood at all. And the plastic can withstand the heat of a rocket. Of course there would still be a launch or a blast deflector on it. But overall, it looks a lot better, and the total cost was $99.86. However, that is not the total cost of a model. Each model can be produced, well, there are multiple uh, models that can be produced from these materials, such as the HDPE plastics, the aluminum hex, and the steel along with um, the handle, and some other smaller parts. The cost per model is about $50.85, which if you take into account how much it does for the hobby and how much more people can do with it, how much easier it is, I think it's worth it. This price can also be brought down, however, if the hardware is bought in bulk. I have achieved many of the goals that I wished to achieve when I redid this model. Um, one of the goals I achieved was it's of better quality. Like I said earlier, there's HGPE plastic, there's um, more durable materials, and because I have better quality, it looks more professional, it's more practical, and it's a lot easier to use. It's also safer. It's easier to lower the launch pad like this, and of course there's a nice stop so that you don't have to fight with the rocket, from going past vertical and falling back onto the ground when you slip it on and then raise it back up. It stays in place and it's really easy. It's less expensive and it can be used in competition because this head can swivel. It's hard, it's not too hard to do, but it will stay in place once you swivel it. There's also a knob that will allow you to tilt the pad 30 degrees vertical, which is not past uh, the allow mount in the NAR pink book. And then there's also an upper section where you can switch out the launch rod. And it will tighten down to a one inch launch rod. It's easy for children and disabled people to use because it lowers down and it gets into a position where it's easier for them to work with. She told me that she really enjoyed it, and it made it easier for her to use. 
The only part that she didn't like was the fact that I was always there with the camera recording everything. <laughs> Um, two questions. Um, one, have you cons looked into the possibility of mass production and what that would take to happen? Yes. Um, mass production would actually cut down on costs. Um, it would help as far as um, like 
drilling and everything, it, you would do that more and it would be a little bit more, uh, sorry. it would be a little bit more efficient. Economical. Mm -hmm. Yes. My second question is, it's probably just me and my condition, but um, with something that's so easy to tip over at a specific angle like that, my concern is eye damage. Like somebody, some you know, eight-year-old tips this thing over and some other kid walks his eye into the end of that rod. Yeah. Any uh, possible? There would have to be a safety line and there would have to be like a home position, a designated home position for this. Um, and there would be like a caution line or something in between this pad and the next pad over. You would have to lower it on that line. Good question. Yes, 